We are back in the streets of Ottawa, I told you universe, ready to ask a, another list of questions to the general community and see what they're saying I told you about. Let's go find out what everybody has to say. The first one, when we talk about cancel culture, do we think that it is doing its job or is it becoming excessive? I find it's really excessive. It's just so unneeded, in right. my opinion, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have the same opinion, honestly, okay. yeah. Do you, uh, do you think that there could be a happy medium somewhere where we, like, you know, keep it in our back pocket for when people are actually doing really bad stuff and then not being so aggressive with everybody else? Uh, Just like, fuck it, like, let people do what they do. <laughs> let, let the world deal with it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think it's a. It, there could be a good mix, but um, I just don't think that like society is able to make it a good mix. Uh, like, people suck. Yeah. yeah. People suck. So, cancel culture. Should it be canceled? Do you think it is something that is worth having around, or is it kind of nonsense? I think cancel culture, as just a whole, is kind of just a way for people to express negativity online. I think that a lot of what this cancelling is, is more of just if somebody messes up, they get broadcasted about it. And I think that it should be not around for a while, let's say. All right, I can agree with that. Yeah, save, save the, uh, the real issues for the real issues, not for every little thing that happens. So cancel culture, do you think that is something that is here to stay, or do you think it's going to kind of fly by the wayside as time goes on and uh, we're going to be able to have a little bit more leeway again when we're speaking freely? I mean, stuff changes all the time, right? It's like, uh, you know, so many things come and go over the years and the days and months. I mean, it's hard to really know. I don't know if I can answer that because, you know, things change so fast and rapidly and, and you know, it could be here today, gone tomorrow, could be here to stay. If I were to ask, do you think it should be gone or should stay, what would you say? I don't know. I don't know if I have an answer to that. Yeah. In cancel culture. Do you believe that it is a, a good thing? A good practice or that it's getting excessive in today's online world? Well, I'd say it's very dependent on what they're being cancelled for. I've seen a lot of people cancelled for a lot of stupid reasons, right? Like they just say, you know, a well-natured joke at work and all that. Like, I think that's a little excessive, right? Okay. So and if, if that's what you mean by cancel culture in particular, because like people have been fired for saying obscene stuff all the time since the beginning of man itself, right? But I'd say if it's over little things, petty things even, that's excessive. All right. Yeah, so as a whole, it's getting a little out of hand, but we need to keep it in our back pocket just in case. When we talk about cancel culture on the internet and with celebrities, do you think that it is something that is worth keeping around, or do you think it's a fad, a trend that's gonna end up, you know, doing away with it over time? Um, I feel like depending on like how severe it is, I think it's a good thing. But for more of the smaller things, I feel like it's not really a big. So the way it's being used right now, do you think it's a little bit excessive? A little bit, yeah. The, probably my most controversial one. Okay. Who do you think cheats more, men or women? Oh, I'm going to say men. And I don't know why, okay. but I think that's probably who does it. Personally, I just think men get caught more because they're not as smart, but <laughs> tough to say for sure. Uh, last one for you. Who do you think cheats more, men or women? <laughs> Same reaction from everybody. <laughs> um, just throw out an answer. What's your guess? Uh, I have no idea. Probably men. I don't know. All right. It's good enough for me. Controversial question. Who cheats more, men or women? Uh, men. <laughs> 100% men. <laughs> uh, let me let me ask you something. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my opinion. You tell me your thoughts on it. I think women cheat more. I think men get caught more because they're not as smart. They don't get away with it as much because they're dumb about it. I I can see your point of view. <laughs> but you're wrong, Jordan. Shut up. It's men. <laughs> but. Um, I think men do have the ability to be smart. I just think women are smarter. Correct. That's why they get caught. Correct. Um, <laughs> but I think men typically cheat more than women. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, period. I don't have the statistics on me right now, but uh, I'll ask all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Men. We'll leave it at that. Um, who cheats more, men or women? <sighs> Big question. Big question. Um, I think it's about the same. I'm gonna go, I, I heard earlier that men get caught more often, and I agree with that. 
<laughs> I, I agree with that. Men, men tend to once if it's one time, then it's more than one time. But if a girl cheats, it can be once, it can be twice. Like it's it's all different. I think. I think girls are just smarter and they don't get caught as easily because men aren't often smart enough to do the right thing. I shouldn't say the right thing. That's not going to sound right. They aren't smart enough to take the precautions to not get caught, which is like, great. Cheating is bad. Don't cheat on your partner, folks. I fully agree. But from, fully. from a standpoint of this question, I think I actually think women cheat more because they can get away with it, whereas men are oh. not, uh, not, not so clever. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, that's a, it's definitely a take there. I would need to see the stats on it. Yeah, well, well, well I'll get back to you when I see the pie chart. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm personally more of a bar graph guy, but little, little column A, little column B. Uh, all right, last question, the one that everybody gives me a little bit of a, a breath on. Who do you think cheats more, men or women? Hmm. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. I guess it depends what they're cheating on. Let's say, like, on, on a partner, and let's let's hold it to uh, to physically only. Let's not talk about emotional cheating. Let's just say, like, you cheated, you got caught, or or didn't. But who do you think cheats more inherently? I feel like my gut is saying men, but I'm not sure if that's true. It's fair. It doesn't need to be true. It just needs to be said. Um, all right. Yeah, I can I can roll with that. It's I, my personal opinion is I can't say for sure if men or women cheat more, but I definitely think men get caught more because they are not as smart. That's my uh, my stance on this today. All right, I told you, universe. I'm dancing because I'm really hoping that my editor puts in music behind me and sends me to a tropical place where everybody is dancing with me. But I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. However, we just had another great day of I Told You interviewing the community on some of this week's duels, and we know we're going to be back at it again next week with more duels, more creativity, and a ton more content for you. Remember to like, subscribe, give us a follow, download the app, I told you, underscore the app on all of our social medias as well, and we will see you next time.